Hello, this is Tim Cross from Allen Press, and welcome to part two of this three-part tutorial on using Kodak Insight Prepress Portal. In part one, I showed you how to upload files. Part two will cover proofing or smart review. Once you've uploaded your job into Insight, you're ready to proceed to smart review to view and proof your job. In the summary tab, seen here, we click on the smart review button. You'll notice that Smart Review opens in a new window, and you can close this window without actually exiting your Insight session. In Smart Review, you can see we have a job loaded. It's ready to be proofed. So let's look at the features of Smart Review and see how they support the task of proofing. The first thing you'll notice here is the proof page itself, of course. The next thing you may notice are the thumbnails to the left. We can move through a job by selecting individual pages or we can go up to the top middle and use the arrow key and move through the job that way. There are two page views. In this case we have single page but I can also look at spread view as well. Other tools available are the magnification tool so I'll click on that and I can zoom into a page and interrogate aspects of it. Perhaps I'm looking for certain artifacts. And you'll notice that it refreshes really quickly and the resolution is excellent. At a certain point if you're zooming in really far you may not want to have to zoom in and out to move around a page so if you look here to the bottom left, you can see a red square. This is a navigation tool, and I can actually move around. I'm, in a, I'm still in the spread mode here, and I can move around and without having to zoom back and forth. I can also use the slider bar to zoom in and out, and you can see I can go up to 6400%, or I can go all the way down to 50%. So I will go down to 50% so it's a little bit more manageable and go back into single view so that we can look at some of these other tools. If you look here to the right there's a T and that's a text annotation tool so I can go in I can do a text annotation I might want somebody who is going to go in later and look at this to check this figure for example. So I'll move this annotation here and it says please check this figure. There are also some drawing tools. We've got a circle, there's a square, we've got a line, there's even a freeform line. There's a ruler tool, so I can go in and measure various aspects on this page. I'm going to move to another page since I've cluttered this one up with a few annotations to show you a few more tools. I've got a ruler tool. I could um, look at how my columns end or are justified. I've got a vertical tool as well. I can do the same thing. So I can go vertical or horizontal. And the last one in this collection of tools is the densitometer. So I can go in and actually check color builds. So I'm going to click on this figure and you can see that we've got 68% cyan, 44% magenta, 100% yellow, and 0% black. If there were Pantone colors in the job, the, the Pantone number would show as well. Moving down underneath those tools, you can see some various information we have here. There's an info uh, display. This shows trim size and bleed, and you can actually select what you want to show. 
whether you want your trim lines to show your bleed. In this case, I had the bleed on. So this shows uh, various different aspects of the page that you might be interested in knowing. We've got pre-flight information, and there are three levels of uh, pre-flight information that you would receive in Insight. There's information, which is feedback about items that could be improved by bringing your files in closer alignment to the Allen Press recommended Press Ready file submission standards. There's a warning level, which is feedback regarding items that would require some interaction from you via page approval or page rejection status updates. And last and most serious but very rare is error, and that's feedback indicating that an error has occurred which will cause significant or fatal problems during pre-press production. And you, you would know because there's a big X that will go through the thumbnail, and uh, this indicates an error. And of course, uh, this will require the page to be rejected and it would not print. I'll close that up, and we can look at separations. I mentioned this when in part one when we were uploading files, so you can see the different page separations. This is handy if I want to check, for instance, that my text is truly black and not a color build. I can uncheck cyan magenta yellow, and I will only see the black plate. If you're curious what another plate might look like, I, in this case I can show you the magenta plate, and that's what the magenta plate looks like. Now I'm going to check all four colors and reapply. I talked about annotations already. This will show, the information here will show you what annotations are on a particular page. So if, as we move page to page, you can see that changes. And lastly, we have collaboration. Insight allows you to actually have multiple users in a session. So we could have several people in here all looking at the page at the same time, and each taking control of the page and moving around and showing others what they're looking at. And we can augment that with the chat function, so it allows us to chat back and forth as we're looking at the various pages. So those are the tools that are available in Smart Review for proofing your print job. In part three, we'll look at how you can approve and reject pages once you've proofed the job.